For this video, I'm taking you for a walking tour of the gardens and atriums located inside the Gaylord Opryland Resort located in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, it's a winter wonderland up here in Tennessee. I really enjoy spending the winter time up here in Nashville. It's just so festive up here. There's so many great special events. If you're familiar with this channel, you probably noticed by now that uh, I filmed quite a few videos here at the Opryland Resort. I'm really fond of it. I know it's kind of expensive, but this place is just kind of worth the indulgement. You know, some people will probably look at this place and ask me, why am I making such a big deal about a hotel? Honestly, this, this place is big enough to be a city of its own. The Opryland Resort has 15 different restaurants, four bars, and about 25 retail stores. The place is just absolutely beautiful. It's got three indoor atriums that cover nine acres of botanical gardens and waterfalls. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. You know, I'm a huge fan of theme parks and beautiful resorts and everything, but I've, I've never been to one on this scale. Only the Gaylord uh, resorts have these beautiful indoor atriums that I'm aware of. Nearly every other uh, destination resort that I've been to, you know, they have beautiful botanical gardens, but they don't have the huge indoor version of it. It's almost always outside. You know, my parents are from the Northeast, and um, my grandparents used to talk about just how beautiful uh, the old Penn Station was in New York City. You know, and they it's a shame that they knocked it down. But that's the only other place that I can think of off the top of my head that had uh, these giant glass atriums that just, you know, looked up to the sky. The old Penn Station was a sight to behold, like a, a wonder of the world. And I really feel like this Opryland Resort is kind of like the modern day reinterpretation of those old grand atriums that they used to build back at the turn of the century. And speaking of those 15 restaurants, my favorite one here is probably the Ravello's Italian restaurant. Although, uh... Solario's Mexican restaurant is actually pretty good too. Now the largest of the three atriums here at the Gaylord Opryland is the Delta Atrium. That's the one that has that giant like center dome that uh, you see a lot in my footage as well as the uh, Delta River boat ride that kind of rides around on the uh, canal system that's uh, running throughout the, the hotel. This place is loaded with a bunch of huge waterfalls and water features um, and that's spread out uh, in all three of the atriums. There's quite a few boutiques and shops in the Delta Atrium, and there's also like a indoor shopping mall that's off to, I guess, the north side of the hotel. And um, that's the way that you would walk out to get to the Soundwaves water park as well. Now, a lot of people might not realize this about the Opryland Resort, but it's open to the public. You don't necessarily have to stay here at the hotel. There's plenty of places to park and walk over here and, and explore. And the place is also located on the outskirts of the Opry Mills Mall, which is nice and convenient as well. The botanical gardens inside the atriums are incredible. Uh, what's nice about it is all the really interesting looking uh, foliage and plants. They have uh, signs, you know, explaining like what the plant is and um, its characteristics and how much water it needs, those type of things. Uh, they're all on plaques in front of the plants. The signage and uh, the way they executed the botanical gardens really does remind me a lot of that uh, Epcot dark ride called Living with the Land. And if you love country music, you probably should be aware that um, this resort is only about a mile away from the Grand Old Opry. I would also consider that a fairly easy walk too. There aren't a lot of hills around this part of Nashville. I do like staying here. I mean, it is one of my favorite hotel resorts, but obviously it's one of the more expensive hotels in Nashville. I just, there's something about being able to go out of your hotel room, walk onto a balcony, and have that indoor atrium waiting for you. It's just a great vibe, atmosphere, whatever you want to call it. The other thing that I love about this particular resort is they've got multiple levels of these walkways. So you can explore and explore and explore and find new pathways everywhere you know there's like sometimes two or three uh, different platforms to explore you know they've got the main level on the ground floor where you know they get the the cobblestones and everything and you explore those paths and then they've got the 
mezzanine level where it's kind of in the middle and suspended and obviously they got like the sky level too where you're kind of walking above uh, the other two levels so it's just you know if, if if you're somebody who enjoys walking in indoor malls for example this is just a very scenic place to do it and the opportunities for photography and video are endless up here there's just so many great vantage points well, those are pretty much all my thoughts about the botanical gardens and atriums here at the Gaylord Opryland Resort. For the rest of this video, I'm just going to play some festive holiday music to wrap it up.
Thanks for watching this episode of The Adventure Schmuck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See everyone next week.